Yes, they, there's many names for it. The Marty Hall problem, Marty Hall enigma, the Marty Hall. There's all kinds of names that are attributed to this. And it has to do with the three doors and whether you should, when given the opportunity to get a car behind one of three doors, you choose one door, one of the doors is open to show you a goat, two doors remain, one is a car, and one is a goat. You don't know which one, but you own one of them. And the paradox, I think, was one of the was, should you keep your door, or if Montreal offered you a chance to change the doors, should you change? Now, this started with Marilyn von Savant of Parade Magazine, who created this particular problem and said why on the program you should change and gave all kinds of statistics. The funny part about it is that I don't recall on Let's Make a Deal, once you made your selection and I showed you one of the doors it wasn't, all I did was offer you money. I didn't offer you a chance to then change your door again. But she proposed the situation. Well, that opened up a hornet's nest of communication, of newspaper articles, professors writing me from various universities saying that she's right, she's wrong. It did. I got one guy said in 1657, Professor von Hugel in Bavaria came up with this theory. On a Sunday New York Times front page, lower right-hand corner, the Monty Hall Paradox. An inside page, a full page of the New York Times devoted to this story. Well, it became, you know, it's, it's all over the world now. The trouble is that I'm tired of explaining it to people. And besides which, I never did it that way on the show. <laughs> Somebody said to me, um, what should they do? Should they do or shouldn't they do? I said, I never gave them the opportunity. But this was Marilyn von Savant saying that if you did, I can prove to you why it's valuable to you to make the switch.